So I came across this very interesting project called as Spor4. I hope that's how it's pronounced. But what this project is, it's a unique JavaScript engine that compiles your JavaScript code ahead of time, right? So that's one of the biggest things which I figured out that this does. It can convert your JS code to WebAssembly or native ahead of time. Ahead of time being the key word here. And obviously it's like not complete right now. It's limited for, it's limited right now, intended for research and not a serious use. But the benefits are good. If you just want to write something in JavaScript or you already have some sort of piece of technology written in JavaScript and you want to get, you know, benefits out of native performance for whatever reason, you can compile that to wasm or native compilation directly right so if you look at this example which is the playground over here you have like a few programs some of digits for example let's start with a simple one so you can see you write basic javascript and then you choose a parser and then you have a target right so if you select c for example in this specific case it will give you code in c which you have written in javascript right so which is cool and i'm assuming that because it's like it's happening right now inside browser itself right so these programs or these things are actually compiling within the browser and that's a lot of code for a throw new error <laughs> in C but but what you can see over here you don't need JavaScript runtime you when once you got the C code or the wasm code you don't need a runtime then right you can just take this and start running your program so it passes 50% of test cases of test 262 which is the official ECMAScript conformance test suite if you are working on a new JavaScript engine or if you want to compete with any sort of engine which exist today this is something which you want to make you know keep an eye on that how many tests am i able to pass in that test suite so as you can see it's been like in the last six months at least it has gone from around 17 percent to now 50 percent and if you look at the github for this you will find a little bit more information. You can see a few limitations over here, limited async support, no variables between scopes, no variables between scopes, okay? I'm not sure if I understand this completely. And it says that no eval or function because it's ahead of time, right? And eval technically allows you to execute code, arbitrary code. So yeah, it's interesting. I want to try this out. I won't try this on my own system. I'll just install it in an online IDE. Now over here, in order to try this out, what you have to do is install it with NPM, right? So let's go ahead and install it. And porf is the REPL for it, which it automatically, you know, entered in. So instead of uh, REPL, let's just try out this index.js file, right? So I'm gonna write porf and then index.js. Okay, so it can run a hello world, basic hello world program. So there's that. Obviously it's, it feels much slower than node itself because you can see if I run porf index.js, it takes a couple of seconds and then, you know, it gives the output. But if I do the same thing with node.js, for example, you can see it takes far less time. And of course with bun, it'll probably be even less, I'm assuming. Wow, with one, bun is slightly more, now it's less, right? So maybe like it takes some time for bun to calibrate its speed. But anyway, porf can run JavaScript. Now let's try a few more things. Let's try to compile this basic code to native because I just want to see if it can do that. So I'm gonna do porf over here and native and then index.js and then let's say Linux binary. I think that's what we have to do. It uses Clang by default, so that's already there. And you can see it has compiled index.js to Linux binary. And if you try to open this, I'm sure this won't be, let me just hex dump this. Okay, hex dump is not installed here. But anyway, if you try to cat this, you know, you'll probably see a lot of garbage because, you know, it's just a compiled binary. But if I run this, you can see that we indeed get hello world. And the good thing about this is that this doesn't require JavaScript runtime anymore, right? So I can literally uninstall Node.js from this terminal and it will still be able to work. Now I want to experiment a few more things. I'm sure like not everything is supported, but I just want to see how much it can take. So let's say if I have a async function check and I have await fetch, I'm not sure if networking is in installed inside this, but we can just see right so if i just make a basic fetch request this would be very cool and if i just call this over here now you can see let me just run it with porf yeah i don't think it's implemented because porf is not even you know showing any output so i'm assuming that fetch or anything things like these are not implemented yet but if it can do something like this at some point this can be like a really cool way right for you to just write 
simple scripts in JavaScript and then run them natively, how you would probably run, you know, a C or C++ file. And if I try to compile this, it does compile, but again, I'm pretty sure it won't run, right? So it says uncaught exception. What if I just have, okay. Yeah, so it does say limited async support. I'm assuming fetch is not one of them. So one of the questions you will have is that, isn't this the same as assembly script or other WASM languages? So the author says that they are not alike at all and have very different goals. Porfer is made as a generic JS engine, not for WASM stuff. It primarily consumes JS and it's written, is also written in pure JS and compiles itself, which is interesting because if you look at most other runtimes, no runtime for JavaScript is written in JavaScript. But yeah, nonetheless, interesting projects. Try to run your basic scripts with Porf, see if it is able to handle them. Pretty sure like anything slightly sophisticated it can't handle right now because even the tests are not like, tests are also at like 50% right now, so that's there. But anyway, do check it out. I have left all the links in the description. Do let me know in the comments what do you think about this. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next video very soon.